Welcome back to the FlipNerd.com REI Classroom, where experts from across the real estate investing industry teach you quick lessons to take your business to the next level. And now, let's meet today's expert host. Hi, I'm Kelly McDonald. I'm the VP of Residential Debt here at Realty Shares, and I'm very excited today to talk to you about planning for the unexpected when rehabbing a property. If you're an active real estate investor already doing deals and looking to double or triple your business, you should consider joining the Investor Fuel Real Estate Investor Mastermind. We're a small group of investors that share our best practices, tips, and tricks with one another in an effort to all win. We limit our membership to only one to two members per market, so everyone shares their knowledge, tips, and tricks openly and honestly. Our members include some buying one to two houses a month, up to some of the most respected investors and leaders in the real estate investing industry, some of which have personally done over a thousand deals. If you'd like to be considered for our invitation-only world-class mastermind, please visit InvestorFuel.com to request your personal invitation. Our next meeting is coming up quickly. Go to InvestorFuel.com now. One consideration that any lender is going to take into account when evaluating whether or not to give you money is going to be your experience. In the due diligence process, experience means knowing how to handle unforeseen problems that come up during the rehab process. These problems can be anything from contractor issues that might arise, perhaps you finally get into a property after purchasing an REO and find out there's mold, electrical or plumbing issues that you need. There might be pests such as bugs or rodents that need to be evacuated and evicted from the home before you can begin. Or maybe you finally finish the rehab and it takes longer than expected to sell. Or unfortunately you have some personal issue that causes a financial setback. Any of those problems can arise and it's important to know what to do in order to make sure that you're planning for those problems ahead of time. The first and most important thing you can do when working with a contractor is make sure that your contractor understands your timeline, has put together a perfect phase schedule, and has a plan themselves to stick to it. You're going to want to work closely with your lender and your asset management team there to make sure that your draw requests are being met and that you're submitting them correctly in order to get your money back as fast as possible if you need that to move on to your next phase. And the third piece of that would be to make sure that when you're getting the inspection scheduled so that you can submit for the draw process, that you're planning ahead. Perhaps, for example, you might want to go ahead and ask for the inspector to arrive the day the work is going to be finished. This is going to allow for your money to come back as fast as possible to you. Another good idea to go ahead and move on to is what to do in terms of unforeseen issues, right? So if you become a member of your local chamber of commerce, you're going to meet other folks in the industry who can maybe help you out with the plumbing and electrical issues, for example, that may have come up. If they themselves can help you, they'll definitely know who to refer you to and help you out of that jam. The last thing I really want to point out is that you really need to plan for what happens when the rehab is done. You want to make sure that you have the reserves to complete the project before you even get started. Consider making cookie cutter scopes and knowing your bottom line on every single deal before you start. If you have a concept of exactly how much you can put into every deal in order to make your profit, you're more likely to stick to your scope of work, stick to your plan, and know when to move on from any given project. Worst case scenario, are you, do you have a relationship with a bank to allow you to refinance? Consider making sure that you do put that in to process and start as soon as possible. Would you be able to rent this property and cover the payment until you have a seasonality to refi out? These are all things that you should consider prior to doing any project and thinking about the unexpected is the best way to get out and make sure that you have a successful project. Thanks so much. Looking forward to uh, seeing you again. If you have questions or concerns, please don't hesitate to reach out to me at kelly at realtyshares.com. Thanks a lot. If you're an active real estate investor already doing deals and looking to double or triple your business, you should consider joining the Investor Fuel Real Estate Investor Mastermind. We're a small group of investors that share our best practices, tips, and tricks with one another in an effort to all win. 
Real estate investing can be a lonely business for successful real estate investors, but it doesn't have to be. Investor Fuel members meet four times a year, but we talk to each other 365 days a year, and we focus on improving the profitability of our businesses, improving the quality of our lives. That's why we do this, right? And making an impact on those around us so we can truly leave a legacy. We limit our membership to only one to two members per market, so everyone shares their knowledge, tips, and tricks openly and honestly. Our members include some buying one to two houses a month, up to some of the most respected investors and leaders in the real estate investing industry, some of which have personally done over a thousand deals. If you'd like to be considered for our invitation-only world-class mastermind, please visit InvestorFuel.com to request your personal invitation. Our next meeting is coming up quickly. Go to InvestorFuel.com now to learn more. Please note, the views and opinions expressed by the individuals in this program do not necessarily reflect those of FlipNerd.com or any of its partners, advertisers, or affiliates. Please consult professionals before making any investment or tax decisions, as real estate investing can be risky. Are you a member yet of FlipNerd.com, the hottest real estate investing social community online? If not, you can join for free in less than 30 seconds and get access to hundreds of off-market deals, vendors in your market to help you in your business. And you can start networking with thousands of other investors just like you. Get your free account now at FlipNerd.com. Please check out the FlipNerd family of real estate investing shows where you can access hundreds of expert interviews, quick tips, and lessons from leaders across the real estate investing industry. They're available at FlipNerd.com shows or simply search for FlipNerd in the iTunes store.